Over 1 million cinema lovers have already subscribed to Film Companion. What are you waiting for? Hit the bell icon and join our film family. KG of Chapter 2 is a sequel on steroids. Everything is bigger, grander, louder. Director and writer Prashant Neel has little use for silence, stillness or subtlety. He delivers a film that seduces you with its terrific clap traps, but also pummels you into submission with its frenzied editing, thunderous background music and its hyper-masculine hero. Everything in this movie is dialed up to 11. For Prashant, more is more. This includes the size of the guns, which include Kalishnikovs and one which is so big that it needs its own tripod. Also the geography. The Kolar gold fields are even more sprawling and of course the number of bad guys. Supreme among them is Adhira, played by Sanjay Dutt, who we are told has imbibed the Viking way of life, which I think is a way to explain his facial tattoos, braided hair and unflinching brutality. The mother angle, which provides the emotional fulcrum of the story, is more pronounced. The film's narrator says that one way to look at this saga is Marky Zid. Basically, the subtext of the KGF series is Mere Paas Ma Hai. The hardware is also more impressive. Apart from the guns, there are dozens of helicopters. In one scene, a helicopter is summoned not because someone needs to be flown somewhere, but because Rina, Rocky's grand romantic obsession, is feeling hot. And Rocky himself is more badass in every way possible. His suits are more stylish. His attitude is more lethal and he is now saviour and king of the world. In one scene, he makes an offer to the Prime Minister to pay off the national debt. That's how much gold he has. In Rocky, Prashant and actor Yash offer us the utopian ideal of old-school machismo. The character has echoes of Amitabh Bachchan's Vijay in Diwar or Vijay in Agnipat and Kamal Hassan's Velu in Nayakan. Like them, Rocky has been brutalised by a traumatic childhood. Rocky's actions are driven by rage and a promise made to his beleaguered mother who raised him alone. In part one, we see her instructing him when he's still in her womb. She says, Mujh jaise besahara logon ka masiha banna hoga. This is a task that Rocky takes very seriously, but he's a masiha with swagger, a superb stylist and the irreverent humour of a chulbul pande. Early in the film, when he takes over the gold fields, the son of an adversary vents his displeasure. Rocky replies with a hilariously mocking comment about nepotism. He's a killing machine with wit. It helps that actor Yash has the charisma and physicality to pull off these fantastical scenarios. He's required to extensively smoke, remove and wear sunglasses, stride into life-threatening situations and butcher countless men, but also to have a moral centre. This is a character about whom it is proclaimed in part one, gang leke aane wale hote hain gangster, wo akela aata tha monster. Yash is a good monster. His flamboyant performance anchors the film. Prashant and his superb technical crew, DOP Bhuvan Gauda, composer Ravi Basroor, editor Ujwal Kulkarni and art director Shiv Kumar Jay are pros at world building. Narachi, where much of the story is set, is a dusty dark space even after Rocky has taken over and become a benevolent dictator. Prashant's favourite tools are aerial shots, exposition, slow motion and cross-cutting. In the midst of bloody action, he inserts childhood scenes or flits between two parallel scenarios which raises the stakes higher. With this film, he also defies the writing rules. That all-is-lost moment when you think the hero is vanquished takes place pre-interval here. In fact, the interval functions like a climax. The trouble is that there's so much more still to go. More plot twists and more enemies. Post-interval KGF Chapter 2 meanders from one set piece to another without the advantage of solid connective tissue. The energy falters and an exhaustion starts to set in. There is also the laughably bad romantic track. The film is set between the 1950s and the 1980s, but the gender politics seem to be from an even earlier era. Neanderthal, perhaps. Rocky simply forces Rina, played by a vapid Srinidhi Shetty, to live with him in his palatial home because he says he needs entertainment. But of course they don't have sex because that would somehow be against his moral code. What's even more perplexing is that eventually she decides that this arrangement is just dandy and declares her love for him. 
I saw the film in a theater packed with young men who were hooting and whistling, and I wondered what they would take home from this relationship. Sanjay Dutt doesn't get the opportunity to match his memorable turn as Kancha China and Agnipath, but he's solid literally as the unhinged Adhira. And Ravina Tandon's performance matches the heightened notes of the film, She's Fire and Brimstone. KGF Chapter 2 is a film that requires commitment. It is, as Prashant put it, anti-gravity cinema. Rules of physics or logic don't apply. In the climax, Adhira is fighting a ferocious battle wearing a fur cape and dark glasses, and you cannot ask why. But if you commit, there is fun to be had, not consistently, but enough to make the popcorn taste better. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and do check out our website, filmcompanion.in.